so the engineering mind, you know, for me, my background is in the kind of, I would say, you know, this, the spiritual, but when I was first reading it, you know, my teens, it was like looking at one of those, um, paintings where you have to cross your fingers and then cross your eyes and finger. Yeah. So I didn't know what the heck I was reading, um, but it's a different way to understand information. So I'm really curious about what you came up with. What, what our brains do with that happiness equation is that they take it into a, what I call the midline areas of the brain, right? So, so the incessant thought areas of the brain. They take it in here and they process it over and over and over and over and over, making having no impact on the real world other than make you suffer. Right? You know, you know how the West glorifies thought so much and says, I think therefore I am? That's an utter pile of bullshit. I'm sorry to use bad language, right? I am therefore my brain thinks. My brain is just a biological function, just like any other function. Thought is glorified because it's not substantial. You cannot, you know, feel it like your heart pumping blood around your body, but it's just the same thing. Your brain is out there to make sense of the world around you and take action to keep you alive, coordinate your muscle responses and your actions and so on so that you, you stay alive. Well, you know, it's so funny because I, I talk about this sometimes in the podcast. Like, I would love to say that I would choose the happiness route, but I'm so soft. It, it's, you know, it, you never know. I've heard you never know how strong you are until you're faced with that choice. And I know that for me, I've been very fortunate. I haven't had to uh, suffer a direct challenging loss. But I think it would just break me. Like I obviously know that that that's what you got to do. You know, it's like if I the way that I say is if I die, people who love me is like, dude, just celebrate my existence. And if you get sad, I'll haunt you as a ghost and mess with you. Like, don't worry. <laughs> Life is totally fine I, I, on the other yeah. side. I think Ali would do the same. No, but 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 but, <laughs> but I mean, as assuming that it's possible. By the way, assuming that you have the strength to do it, what's the wise choice to to take? The wise choice is to take the second. If you've done the best you can, what more can you do? Okay, what more? So can you blame yourself for doing, for not doing more than the best that you can? You cannot. Okay, so there is that interesting element of what good is it? Uh, we've had a wonderful conversation. I have nothing that I wish to have uh, brought up and didn't. Uh, deep gratitude for your story to share and inspire people. It's, it's really beautiful, and I just want to uh, thank you. For from, from me to you, the, the bottom of my heart, man. Share this, spread the love, spread the happiness, and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.